Hi, I'm here to talk to you about the German bow hold. We bass players have a choice, uh, I guess throughout our careers, not even just at the beginning, to play either French or German. And I've done a video on the French bow, which is your overhand bow hold. And now I'm going to talk about the German bow. The German bow is the underhand, where well, you're coming at the bow from under. And uh, it's popular all over the States, of course. I can't say that it originated necessarily in Germany. I think it's based on um, a very old Baroque style bow, which is the underhand. Uh, and bass players adapted that and went both to the overhand and the underhand. We've just kept both traditions. To hold the German bow, I like to approach it like almost like a handshake. You know, when you go in to shake someone's hand, you're uh, touching the inside right here, the nook between the first finger and the thumb, and you're going to touch that right here. Hook your thumb around, put your pinky on the bottom for balance, hang out with the middle two fingers, and keep your first finger hanging out on the side of the stick. So it's actually very relaxed and ideally with a very loose wrist. So I'm going to show you up close. You're coming in. Pinky's on the bottom for balance. These two fingers here hang out. And eventually, because of the hooked thumb on top and the loose wrist, you'll be able to move quickly and control your bow stroke. So, again, I'm coming underhand, coming in, putting my thumb in the nook right there, pinky on bottom for balance, thumb hooked over, fingers hanging out. apply with the German bow as do the French bow. You want to have an active but somewhat relaxed and responsive wrist and ideally your hold is flexible. So that's why I like to compare it to a handshake. You know you go in for a handshake and you sort of see like which way the person is going with the handshake, right? You know so much of what we do as bass players is react to the vibrations and such that you're getting from the bass. You give and you receive, so you have to be somewhat loose here in your wrist. So the German bow hold, underhand, pinky on bottom, hooked thumb on top, fingers hanging out on the side. And a loose wrist to create the most vibrations from your double bass. So good luck with your bass playing and whichever tradition you choose.